Franchise Hockey Manager 4 is the fourth entry in hockey's equivalent of Sega's Football Manager series published by Out of the Park Software, who are known for their baseball simulators as well, hence the name of their software company in the first place. Uh, so there's several things to note for the review uh, proper. Uh, one, I, I am not a hockey expert. I like ice hockey, don't get me wrong, and I get the gist of it, uh, but I'm not an expert. So I'm afraid that if you want like a hardcore look at this game, you'll have to look elsewhere. And secondly, I haven't played any previous Franchise Hockey Manager games, so I'm afraid I can't compare to previous versions uh, in the series. Um, but with that said, I'll go on and I'll start my review. The Franchise Hockey Manager uh, 4 loads up to a pleasingly slick looking opening menu, reminiscent of the FIFA interface, uh, which is nice and approachable, clearly indicating available game modes uh, such as historical, um, standard start, etc. Uh, getting into the game through one of the variety of modes, either standard game, challenge, historical mode, blah blah blah, takes you to the game menu. Most of your time with this game will be spent here, so it's good that the navigation is pretty straightforward and simple. But enough about menus and such, let's get down to the meat and potatoes of Fran Franchise Hockey Manager 4, managing your hockey team. Franchise Hockey Manager 4 provides you with a wide variety of leagues and teams for you to jump into, from the likes of the NHL and KHL to the smaller ECHL, Metal League of Denmark, and even the Elite League of the UK. It's great that FHM isn't completely focused on the NHL or even North America overall. Um, in fact, I'd go as far to say that I would far rather play as some of the smaller leagues than the NHL itself. I guess it's kind of a weird personal preference, but there you go. As you would expect from a sports management sim, there is a lot of depth to this game in what you can do, from the trading of players to balancing finances, ensuring that you have a good enough squad depth, etc. Though you can undertake this either as a head coach slash GM, which obviously also entails training and developing players, constructing lines and setting tactics for the gameplay, either for individual players or for the team as a whole. Um, or you can just uh, act as a general manager if you don't fancy um, trying to organise the squad and would rather just deal with the finances, the securing of players, etc. Um, I wouldn't say this game mode comes recommended though because I feel that um, for sports games on the whole it's very much re um, part of the experience to gel the team together and say that that is a team you have crafted and put out onto the ice. Um, perhaps that's partially my familiarity with the Football Manager series, but I do feel that, as I say, managing the actual squad is a crucial part of the gameplay. But I think it's good that for some people who might not be particularly interested in that part, that um, I guess it's good as an option. Uh, the tactical options available to uh, players, if you choose to play as a head coach, are, are also very good as well, with a variety of different play styles um, for, to, to play with, allowing players to craft lines to a certain style uh, that will be appropriate for the kind of players in, in your squad, um, with, a, with a variety of roles that you can select from from each player to enact whilst on the ice in that particular line. You can kind of craft a different way to, to go. There's a host of options available to managers in the tactics uh, menu. Um, and, and it's all very well laid out so that you can you know, go down to which line is going up against which other line uh, on ice uh, and all the rest of it. And of course it, I think it's really nice that you're able to, uh, to craft uh, lines and teams uh, and, and this way using the you know, playing to the strengths of the players in your squad who themselves have a variety of stats yeah, with which to gauge their ability in any given area and these cover everything from how accurately they shoot the puck to how susceptible they are to injuries on various parts of the body. And that gives a great level of authenticity to players, making them feel less like stats with names, as in other f management uh, series. And One of the greatest selling points, for me at least personally, is, is the inclusion of an ability to create your own custom leagues based on any number of teams. Uh, this is good for anyone who is a fan of leagues that aren't included in the game, uh, such as the, uh, the, the English League, uh, with my team, the Basingstoke Bison, uh, but also just making up teams and towns uh, to create a unique experience for myself. It's, it's something a bit weird, but it, it's definitely something that's up my alley. For instance, at this moment we've got a two-tier league system, the SSL and the SSL2. Um, the SSL has uh, 18 teams split into three conferences, playing 68 matches um, in the regular season with a 16-team feeder system. The only flaw I have with league creation is that I'd rather have a little bit more flex, um, as I'd like to have a league system uh, with the top two teams from each division, uh, so six teams, um, plus the next best four teams competing in a wild card round prior as part of my playoff system, uh, but that's not something I can I can have in the game, and I think that the playoffs need a little bit more um, flexibility in that sense, uh, depending on the size of your league, um, but it's still considerably better uh, than the vast majority um, of either management games or indeed sports games. 
It, it's in the adjustment of teams that I have a little bit more of a problem, as you can't change logos or CE jerseys in custom modes, which is kind of a real shame. Um, again, more personal than anything else, but I think it would do enough for me to make a big difference to the custom options um, and make it easily better than any other sports game, not just management sims with the likes of PES and NHL. Uh, perhaps like a kid, uh, perhaps a kit editor or logo import options could be used just to try and make, give them that better personal touch um, to, to the teams that you're creating. Uh, now you may have noticed at this point that I haven't really spoken much on the hockey part of Franchise Hockey Manager 4 and this is easily the most disappointing part of the FHM4 experience. The actual matches, uh, whilst games do have a play-by-play -play, uh, to keep you informed on what's happening on ice, um, but the problem with these is that unless you play on a slow speed and with like a you know an NHL 82 regular uh, season, you're not really going to be doing that particularly often. Uh, you will instead rarely get much from this, um, other than seeing if there's been a shot blocked or, or an interception or whatever have you. Um, and this game can kind of be said uh, for the written commentary that plays on the bottom during the 2D highlights. Now the problem with the 2D highlights are uh, they only show the location of the puck with a team colour uh, around this, this icon for um, to, to, to indicate possession. Which again really sort of says very little, you don't get much in the way of feedback. Uh, there's just an overall lack of impact on that, and that's, it's kind of frustrating um, from the perspective of someone who's often played games like Football Manager. Now I understand that a full 3D match engine is quite an investment and not necessarily easy to implement, but even like a full 2D match engine with, and the highlights, like a top down showing the, all the players on ice and their location would be a huge improvement and it not even be that difficult necessarily you could play like a variety of circumstances used out and even if you had it as um, a, like a pre-written uh, movement pattern or pre-written movement patterns based on the various um, roles that you play has been given by the coach uh, and then added a bit of random variety as to whether or not a player scored a goal in such an instance and I think that would really add a lot more to the experience of the hockey match to feel, feel, make it feel more like a living breathing hockey game with filled you know, fans in the arena. Uh, and speaking of fans, I'd also like more uh, sound effects during the matches, uh, like more crowd chants as opposed to crowd noise, um, like organ music, even like custom goal horns, uh, just to really give the matches more impact and make them feel more real. Um, it could also be good to add that, um, that something that forces a player to, to react to the performance of the players on ice, uh, perhaps offering uh, words of encouragement or uh, to their to their players, um, or getting a, a pros and cons summary at the end of every period, just as like in the EA's NHL series. Um, it could also be a, something that you know players give you feedback based off of their time on ice. And I think that would really help you um, sort of keep the game away from you just sitting there sort of more passively observing what's going on during the match. I think you could sort of fairly say that that could translate over to the broader game mode. Uh, it might also be good to add more such interaction uh, in the main area of the game, uh, such as press conferences uh, every now and then, uh, or improved player interactions. Um, I think that the Franchise Hockey Manager has a solid core with which um, out of the park software can build from and make no mistake the game is definitely still uh, worth trying to play um, and can be found for $29.99 on Steam or purchased through the OOTP website. It's definitely really absorbing um, but these improvements I think or some uh, improvements to, to, to expand the gameplay experience would make this a far a richer game overall let me know what you thought of Franchise Hockey Manager 4 uh, down in the comments section below. If you liked this video, let me know you liked it by liking it uh, and share it with your friends. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more such content. Um, but otherwise, thank you very much for watching.